Well, hello and welcome back to Hans the Astro. Today we're going to be having a look at this beast. Um, this is going to be a quick unboxing. Uh, this is the EQ AL55i uh, Pro um, Skywatcher. Um, it goes to Equatorial Mount. Um, let me start a quick unboxing video for you. Put it down there. This comes from uh, Flow. You can see the they've got the usual make contain cloud sticker on. That's the products we do get from Flow. So let's uh, crack on open it up. Chunky box, as you can see. Um, I think the total weight on the delivery thing said about 19 kilograms. Oh. There we go. There we go. And what do we get? Well, for starters, you get two empty boxes. Empty box there, they're all empty. An empty box there. Um, if I remember correctly, this is the tripod box. Uh, this box here has got the counterweights in it, and this box here has got the actual head in it. So let's take these out. First of all, let's pop open the tripod at the back of the box. <coughs> and there she is. So in the box we get <coughs> a small spanner in there. So you get the leg stretching plate. Small spanner. Construction plates with the uh, holes in for um, one and a quarter and two inch eye pieces and accessories. Uh, spanner. And then you get the actual shot for itself. That's the chunky steel tripod with the uh, one and a quarter inch. So I think it's one and one and three quarter inch. I think actually uh, diameter legs. It's a really chunky, chunky and sturdy tripod. I think you get the same one with the um, EQ5, the HEQ5. You know, it's a very, very sturdy tripod. So that's everything in the tripod box. And the second box here. So this box 
contains two counterweights. I can't remember the exact. I think this one's three point something kilogram and this one's one point something kilogram. I can't remember exactly. They do have, probably can't see that on camera, but they do have a little nylon bushing on the inside so they don't mark the uh, uh, counterweight bar. They're all nice and, nice and clean. Brand new. We've got the main business end, which is the actual mount head itself. So, in the box, you get the instruction manual for the mount, you get counterweight bar. Nice little count way bar with the don't drop it on your toe screw on the end. Into the, into the front of the mount in one of the two positions depending which latitude you're in. There's also a power cable uh, with the uh, normal uh, jack on one end and the 12 volt car adapter on the other. And then finally we have the mount head itself. Oh, there we go. Somebody asked me in a comment um, on Stargazer's line about what's what's plastic on this. And to be honest, there isn't that much. Um, so this bit here, that wheel, is, that's plastic. You've got a little rubber um, cover which covers the poloscope. Got the poloscope cover at the back and the actual poloscope itself. That's plastic. All well, that's metal. Two sides of the mountain mount here. These are this, uh, I call them clamshells. The clamshells cover the motors, there's a motor there, and there's a motor there. Um, but everything else, you know, the knobs on the end of there are plastic, the knobs in there are plastic, uh, obviously the threads of metal. There is no nylon part on the end, so it will now up um, bits and dovetails put in there. Uh, at the end of that lever is obviously plastic. But the rest is pretty good. Um, on the back, this is quite a good feature of this one. So rather than having a push and a pull um, bar, it's literally got its own worm, worm gear on there, so you can adjust your um, latitude just by turning that. And it's pretty tight, it doesn't, I mean once it's set, it doesn't, it doesn't move, I haven't, I haven't seen it move. Um, it has Wi-Fi inbuilt and also Bluetooth, and I have seen it pop up on the Bluetooth, but I haven't actually connected it via Bluetooth yet, so we'll, we'll have a go with that with this one. Um, your Counterweight bar can go in two positions. Normally, it would be in, in that position. If we 
if I was used to seeing that in that position. But if you're more towards the equator, you can actually move it over to that position, and that gives the mount can lower down, lower down its its angle. I think that makes sense, hopefully. <laughs> so there you go. That's the unboxing of the EQ AL55 i Pro. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers, bye.